Yes, we have many activities in this project, but the, let's say the, the main was the pilot study, piloting one of the tools, what we, have, what we thought is very much important to be introduced in our policies and in order to influence on the uh, two communities, on the policy makers, but also on the citizens. So regarding um, um, the, the selection, we selected the play standard tool as uh, the most actual tool what can be implemented now in the country, especially in the area of urban planning, because the people are not very much satisfied and we are on a very critical level of satisfaction with the urban planning in the country, especially in the main, in the capital of Skopje. So that's why we selected it. As you know, the tool is coming from the Scottish environment and society, which was not an easy to be adapted. So one of the challenge was how to adapt it on the local circumstances and the society, uh, but also whether it is applicable in our, in our country. And another reason, it was a very big challenge for us as a public health workers, because it's a very nice mixture of social and physical factors influencing on the health in the place, which was not uh, familiar for the policy makers and for the citizens. Meaning that we use the tool also to educate the both communities uh, how they could, they must see the, the place, not only uh, counting the diseases, but also to see the social and uh, well-being aspects of, of assessing the, the place where they are living. Place is a comparatively new concept in, in public health and for me it's about expressing the relationship between ourselves as individuals and the many complex factors in our surroundings that influence health. So it captures issues like historical dimensions of a location, the cultural dimensions, as well as the things that we might expect to be linked to health, like physical things, social things and economic things. And because of that, Rather than talking about simply about the environment, we talk about place. And place is a very useful catch-all term. And as a result, we've thought, well, what do we need in place that will give us good health, well-being and equity? And work in Scotland in probably about 10 years ago now has produced the notion that having a place standard would be a good idea which would actually outline the dimensions and the characteristics of a place that would make it a good place to live in, a place where one might become healthy and one where, where we might have greater equity. And increasingly, of course, we're concerned with whether or not a place, a place is sustainable. So the place standard tool was developed by Scottish government, by Health Scotland and a body called Architecture and Design Scotland. And the purpose of the place standard tool is to list a range of characteristics of place that people can actually discuss. So it's a, the place standard tool is, if you like, a need to discussion about the characteristics of place. And it can embrace issues from social aspects of place, physical aspects of place, plus all the kind of cultural things which might be of interest. So you assemble a range of characteristics and people who live in that place can say, can score their place in terms of those characteristics and decide wh what's a good place, what's a bad place, and very importantly, what needs to be done in order to make it the kind of place that they want to live in. And as a result, it's a really useful tool for policy. As well as being a really useful tool for, for prompting discussions, the place standard is a way of engaging communities to talk about the issues that matter for them. It's been found to be hugely flexible and indeed, although I might suggest that a number of characteristics of place were important for people's health and well-being, it's rather obvious when you think about it that one needs to ask the people who live in that place, whose, whose lives are influenced by that place, what characteristics matter to them. And the Inherit Project which is um, a European project, um, research project, has shown that the place standard is hugely adaptable by applying it in different contexts across Europe.
So the main challenge is that it is a very wide urbanization we, are, we have now, meaning that uh, we have a lot of uh, population coming to live in the, in the capital. The space is very limited. So uh, 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 the, all, all of the amenities are in danger, so we don't have a proper services for so much people. The policy makers are insisting on the uh, buildings and building, not too much on the public spaces, not too much on the social interactions between the people. So, uh, uh, and uh, the government are frequently changing. And any new government is only insisting on the buildings, reconstruction, inviting the cars in the, in the, in the cities and pushing the people out of the public spaces, which is a terrible problem. The people are concerned and uh, 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 having this in mind, uh, this tool uh, facilitated or even opened the discussion between those communities, policymakers and the citizens, which is only running during the elections and pre-elections. Now we introduce a tool, we put it on the website and the citizens are invited to assess all these 14 factions of the, of the place, uh, how they uh, see it, what they think is uh, uh, good, what is bad, and then what are their proposals, something to be improved, and put it as a as an um, obligation to the policy makers to put on the, on the next annual plan for the, for, for the municipalities. So uh, these are circumstances in which we introduced this tool. Another uh, thing which is very much important, the, the period was very short, only a couple of months, so the focus was on the process, how to establish the process with, uh, on, on interaction and uh, intersectoral communication, and especially the citizen involvement rather than the real assessment, because for the assessment we needed more months to come and to see which functions are best uh, accepted by the, by the citizens. On the end, uh, we, uh, we had a very strong uh, intersectorial administration team engaged in the process and will be engaged in the, in the near future, but also we have now citizens who are waiting for the changes or they think will happen after their intervention uh, yeah, uh, with the tool. So we have now the situation, we expanded the area where now we are uh, um, uh, implementing the tool. Now it is uh, the whole area of the capital. And I think that we can now count a uh, much uh, large number of citizens and maybe we can have some quantitative, not only qualitative evaluation. Starting from the language, it was not an easy to, 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 write the, to, to find the, the right uh, translation for some of the words because it is not only the poor language translation, but also we should translate something from the political and historical point of view. Let's say how, how to educate people that uh, feeling of, of, of uh, safety and feeling of identity is something which is also part of assessing the place. So it means that one of the challenges was the poor translation, the other was the level of education of our people, of level of how they perceived the, the place. So I think that uh, uh, what we did, uh, we did a kind of le learning by doing. So the people, by assessing the, the place, they also learn what should be assessed in one place. Otherwise, they all, because we have a very heavy air pollution, they, they were focused only on the cars, on the air pollution, on the noise. Uh, nobody known that uh, all feeling safety is important. Also the job uh, economy is also important in their place. So the, the social interaction, especially the, the, the area where they can communicate with the, with the neighbors, something where they didn't uh, assess properly. So those were the challenges. So uh, coming to the area where the level of knowledge is very low, level of perception is completely different, coming from the society where this process, especially in Scotland, is ongoing for many years, improving the tool and all of these things. So I think that uh, this, is, this was the challenge, but now we must use this momentum and maybe to continue the process. Uh, what we plan now to finish the, the, this uh, period with one policy roundtable to present to the uh, 
uh, important stakeholders, including the citizens, but also the academia, also the university and the, uh, uh, the responsible ministries and local administration. What are the advantages of this approach in the policy making? What kinds of savings they will make to them? Not only costs, because any politicians are asking whether it is costly or, or no. This tool is not costing, but it can bring a lot of uh, a lot of advantages even for the political reason because the local elections are ahead of us and they can present something which is a result of an open discussion between them and the citizens. So I hope that uh, this policy roundtable and the conclusions and recommendations will open the door for implementing this kind of tool as a routine practice uh, each year and continuously during the year between the policy people and, uh, and, and the citizens, and not only in the capital, but also in the other cities, because we made some pilot attempts in a couple of other cities, and the people are very, very enthusiastic in, in, in using the tool and discussing the tool, and maybe especially we must use the momentum that uh, there was a promise that the political people will hear the voice of the, of the citizens and put it in the, in the plan. If we lose this momentum, that it will be not good for us, but also for the political people. Now we raise the level of, of expectations between the citizens. They must keep them uh, satisfied, yes. There, there will be many messages, but one main message is that uh, uh, um, despite we have other problems, uh, it's a poor country with a lot of political problems struggling, uh, brain drain, a lot of young people are leaving the country. Uh, this kind of, 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 of uh, interventions uh, linked with the environment, with the public health, with equity, are not on the top of the agenda. But uh, the triple wins, the, the, the experiences and the results and evidence what Inherit brought and will be presented is something which uh, must be used by, by, all, by all of these communities in order to improve the life and maybe to keep the people to stay in the country, which is one of the biggest problems.